those damn unions. Goddamn faggot commie bastards. I'll tell you what. When I hit that lottery, boy, whenever I get rich, and any of you faggots try to take my tax dollars and spread it amongst yourselves, I will kill you. You fucking hillbillies. Let me get this straight. If a company wants to shut down production in the U.S., open up a sweatshop in Mexico or Chile or Indonesia, China above all, because we can't pick up anything because I'm made in China. That's fine. It's just capitalism. It's just free market economy. They want to make more money for themselves. But if workers want to organize, if all the people that are part of the Occupy movement, oh, you're calling them commies and hippies. They're just being greedy. They just want handouts. Union workers want what's rightfully theirs. They want to fight against the piggish owners and the CEOs who want to pocket more for themselves. So they're trying to fight against that. Everybody in Con Ed out there on the picket lines is fighting against corporate greed right now. If you're on the side of the company rather than the side of the worker, you are a brainwashed fucking slave and you're a hillbilly piece of shit. By the way, if you support Nike, fuck you. Because Phil Knight makes billions of dollars charging hundreds of dollars for his fucking shit products that are made by sweatshop slaves where he can easily pay American union workers a decent living wage and benefits and still make a butt fuck load more money than you'll ever see in your lives. But no, it's okay, free market capitalism, but if a union wants to fight that, they're being greedy? That's ass fucking backwards. There's a hole in your plot bigger than Kim Kardashian's fucking gaping snatch. I think I know what it is. Because you think you're going to be rich too? I think one day, well, when I get my company, when I hit the lottery, when I'm going to be a rich man and get to be drinking champagne and like to do in the rap video in the club, you fucking retard. It's not going to happen. You cousin fuckers sure do get stuck in the fantasy, don't you? It's like you believe in the invisible man in the sky who was born from a virgin who walked on water. If you believe that, you believe any goddamn thing, don't you? You call yourself Christians, but any of the teachings of that character from that book that made sense you never apply any of that and what about sin what about the deadly sins what about greed yeah that's the biggest offender of all you're not looking at that are you you're looking at it from the wrong angle three members of abject are in the union including madigans and spew who are both local three ibew international brotherhood of electrical workers and at the little island barbecue a couple weeks ago um had a chance to catch up with a couple other union workers in the scene. They also happen to be in one of the best bands in the world right now. Here's Mad Joe and Richie Crutch from Wisdom and James. What's going on guys? Madikins here, Spew, Mad Jack. We're, uh, we're here with uh, Joe and Richie from Wisdom and Chains at the uh, Long Island Barbecue. So, uh, me and Matt are both local three. He's Time Warner and I'm in the A Division. And, uh, Congratulations. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'm local 18 A because it's concrete flavors. Excellent. I'm a local 157 Carpenter. Have you seen conditions sort of degrade since the time you started? Definitely. Give up five hours a week plus 80 plus uh, 20 percent. Oh, you're right. support of everything. That's, that's called an 80 20, 20 percent. Now. Yeah, 20 percent of your benefits, your, your uh, take home, everything. I assume the contractor says, oh, well, they can't afford to pay the full wage and we'll go non union if you guys don't accept this, right? Exactly. As a touring band, I know you guys have gone to, to Europe and beyond and all over the country and stuff. With the uh, working conditions and the concessions you have to make for work, uh, does that, how does that affect touring? Being well, in a band that's full time. It just, it just affected us last week because we'll, uh, if, when I come back from work, I'm not guaranteed my job. You know I, mean? he, he kinda, I, I don't know if he was bullshitting me or not. He was notice and was fine. That's but it. You know, I had to go with the safe bet. Gotta take care of it. Gotta take care of it. Gotta do it. Yeah. So unfortunately, I, you know, I kind of, I had to cave in basically, and you know what I mean. It makes my position weaker, but I had to, I had to do it. You know what I mean. So, in September, it's going to be over. I'm going to be laid off. The very minimum is 26 weeks. The maximum is up to a year. 
So I don't know what I'm going to do, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of scary. Yeah. It gets real scary when you have kids. You know, that's what makes it really get scary when you have, uh, you know, real responsibilities. Yeah. <laughs> when, you have, when you're feeding people, that's when it really gets real, and you're like, fuck. You know what I mean? You guys have any new albums or anything coming out? New album uh, came out a couple months ago. The Missing Links. So we got that, and then uh, you know we're still writing. We're always writing, constantly writing songs. You know what I mean? Planning for the next thing. So probably the next thing will be a seven inch. I would think within the next. Uh, you know. Yeah, we got plans to do like a series of uh, seven inches, like I think three seven inches, three different styles, like one metal style, punk style, hardcore style, just for fun in between the next. Uh, like, I don't know why. When I hear something, I'm like, I love it. You know what I mean? And that's it. That's the end of it. I love it. But uh, you can't be like that because you got to be more and more critical of yourself as time goes on if you want to improve. Just driving through Pennsylvania, I see clothes, steel mills. Uh, I think there's a big coal uh, industry there, and that's just all gone, right? Yeah, Pennsylvania has like no industry. It's weird because in a recession, entertainment is the last thing that people stop spending money on. People always spend money on alcohol and, and entertainment, movies, concerts, stuff like that. People flip the spirit, stop entertaining themselves, but you know, they, they cut down on other things, you know what I mean, and they cut back in other ways. But you know, definitely uh, people have to be more conservative the way they live. If you want to be tighter with your money, you got to be more conservative the way you actually live in your edifice. That's, that's where you got to start. You know? <laughs> All right, well, cool. Thank you guys for letting us talk to you for a couple of minutes. Pleasure. Um, hopefully, in the future, we'll, uh, as he said, people are still spending money on entertainment and alcohol, so hopefully we'll see more drunk assholes dance around like douchebags at our shows. That'll be the last thing to go. Uh, yeah, that'll be the last thing to go, because we're here to stay, and hopefully they are, too. It's an object deal. Well, I can't feel, don't say anything.